Do you like iCloud? Asks Mac Man Mick and Man and Man and Man on LockerGnome.net. One hell of a handle, let me tell you. I, seriously, that's the best I could do with it. Either way, uh, yeah, I do like iCloud, and I gotta tell you, um, I think I like iCloud more on Windows than I do on Mac OS X, uh, for one reason, and I'll, I'll explain that in a second. So, it's free, or at least the, the, the core part of it. Uh, you could, uh, you know, access your mail online. Uh, you could synchronize your photos with PhotoStream, at least the last 30 days of photos. Uh, you can share a calendar uh, online. You can keep your contacts there. You can now find your Mac or find your iPhone or iPad or any iOS device. I think the Find Your Mac feature is really, really nice, especially those of you who have MacBook Pros, and ask, well, you know, what happens if it gets stolen? It's been stolen before. There's software that is available uh, for either Windows or Mac OS X, but what makes iCloud services nice is that most people are going to be running them and it's going to be built into the operating system, at least the iCloud connection to the operating system. So, yes, what's not to like? It doesn't really cost you anything. Uh, so why do I like iCloud services more on Windows than Mac OS X? Because of uh, the way they handle PhotoStream. So on Mac OS X, you basically flip the switch in iPhoto, and you can toggle whether or not uh, you have it enabled on your iOS device or in the you know iPhoto libraries and streaming and, and what you know different levels of, of settings that you want. But I don't really use iPhoto all that much. So why I like it on Windows is that with Windows, you've got, you can set your own upload and download folder. Dude, that is so awesome. So you can't do that on Mac OS X. You can do it on Windows. I'm like, well, wait, if they did that for Windows users, why did they not do that for Mac users? Well, because they, they think that iPhoto is easier to use, and I, I'm not sure I'm in full agreement with them. So having that feature alone on, the, on Windows is kind of nice. So you can use iCloud services for free on Windows. It's not just a Mac thing. Uh, just like you can use the uh, uh, cloud services from Microsoft on Mac OS X. It's not just a Windows thing. It's nice to be able to, to play in both these worlds. I think the services will continue to mature. Uh, I like you know what they've brought over. I uh, They brought over back to my Mac as well, and I've loved using that when I'm on the go and want to connect to uh, my machine remotely and do uh, like a, a screen sharing session or sharing files back and forth, really with no muss and fuss. And I think that's kind of the bottom line. There's software that can make it you know, more accessible uh, for, you know, a variety of situations, but they, they have made it easy. And that's the thing. And it, it's all relative, right? What you think is easy ain't what everybody else thinks is easy. You know, you just want to click and be done with it. And honestly, I, for the most part, I'm okay with that. Uh, I think we'll see more services introduced over time. Uh, they're laying the foundation. Uh, it's kind of a... a mobile me redo, and some would argue that mobile me was a colossal failure. I would be not one to say it was a failure, but I think it, they could have done the job better than they did. Oh, yeah, you can also synchronize iWork documents. I don't know if that's so much of a win. I've been using Google Docs for years, and there's nothing wrong with it. Um, you know, in terms of uh, collaborative document uh, editing and, and sharing tool, Google Docs is the uh, it's the one to beat. So, uh, you know, beyond that, uh, you know, I, I think uh, you can't argue with the price. Uh, you can't argue with its uh, uh, option of being able to run on Mac OS X or Windows. Of course, you're going to have different features on, you know, either of those operating systems. Uh, and, and you know that they're going to uh, be, uh, you know, uh, continually adding services to iCloud. Uh, they've made it better for consumers. The Back to My Mac uh, feature is great. The uh, uh, Find My Mac feature is also great should your laptop get lost or stolen. I mean, you can only imagine how many phones have been recovered because of that feature built into uh, the iPhone or, I guess, iOS. You know, if you lose your phone, you could, there's a better chance of it getting recovered. Or you, you could re remotely wipe all the data that's on the phone or or uh, iPad, and it's just baked in. It's just easier to use, and I think that's kind of the bottom line. Is that These are services that are easier uh, to use for human beings to use. So thank you for liking this video. Thank you, I appreciate it. It's a pretty good question. Uh, you know, I, I don't think there's really anything to totally dislike because you're really not spending any money. So I don't know if you really got a lot of wiggle room with the whole heating thing. Um, but everybody's got a different opinion and I'm sure you're going to deposit yours and that's fine. We'll welcome the opinions, go ahead and share them. Uh, but just expect that uh, you, you better be prepared to uh, defend your position whichever it happens to be, uh, because some people may disagree. There are people out there who do disagree with you and me. I don't know who they are yet, but I'm sure we'll surface them soon enough. My email address, chris at perillo.com. Feel free to drop me a line, ask a question there, or, you know, lockergnome.net, ask a question YouTube, Facebook, Google+, Twitter, beyond, whatever. You know, we're everywhere on social media. And then, of course, uh, you can join us in the chat room. We are geeking out 24 hours a day, seven days a week, with a live video feed at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.